And so flipping over to the uh, next example on the last page here, we're asked to show that the median from B, and I didn't have to choose B, I could have chosen A or C, it wouldn't be a problem, uh, cuts the right triangle into two equal area triangles. And so this actually is a right angle triangle here. So the median, of course, looks like this. And that midpoint on the other side is 8 comma 9.5. We don't actually have to know where that point is, but I thought I'd just label it on the diagram. So we're asked basically to show that once you draw that median, then this triangle right here, although a different shape, has exactly the same area as this triangle right here. So we're saying that the median, that median, cut this original triangle into two triangles that have exactly the same area. Now, what we're going to do is find the, uh, the base of each. I'll refer to uh, the A, D, B triangle. The uh, A, B is a base. And then we'll have to find its altitude. Remember, area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. And then we'll do the same thing as the triangle on the right side here. I'll call BC as the base, and we'll need to find this altitude right here to know its height. So first of all, finding the, uh, the, the base of the ABD triangle, I'll find the length from A to B. And of course, using the coordinates 1, 7, and 13, 4. And so underneath the root here, we will go 13 minus 1 squared and 4 take away the 7 squared as well. So 13 minus 1 is 12 and 12 squared is 144. Uh, 4 minus 7 is negative 3 and negative 3 squared is 9. 9 and 144 add to 153. So the distance from A to B is the square root of 153. And I'm not going to bother to change that to a decimal. If I don't change it to a decimal and start rounding, then I can show that these two areas are exactly the same, not just close. Like if we uh, approximate the decimals, it wouldn't be a, a, a really good strong proof. So I'll just leave it as the root of 153. And I'll label that on the diagram. Now, since this is the midpoint of AC, then and this distance right here is root 153. If I draw on that altitude for this triangle on the right side here, this would be exactly parallel to this, that altitude. And since that's the middle, okay, if I were to come straight down here to get the same length along here as this altitude, then this altitude for this triangle over here, that would be exactly half the length of this side. And that's because this is the midpoint, midpoint being cutting it in two equal parts. So this altitude over here is root 153 over 2. Now let's find the uh, base of this triangle right here. So the distance from B to C using the 15, 12, and 13, 4 coordinates. So we would go 15 minus 13 underneath the root and squared here. And then 12 minus 4 as well. So 15 minus 13 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. 12 minus 4 is 8, and 8 squared is 64. And so we get the square root of 68, and we'll place that on the diagram up here. So this, alt this uh, base here is the root of 168. Now, I can use that to find the altitude for this triangle, because again, if that's the midpoint of AC, then this altitude I'm drawing for this triangle would be exactly parallel with this. So if we follow this line straight over, then this altitude should be exactly the same as this distance here. So that's actually the midpoint of, of BC. This is actually the midpoint here of AB. So this distance right here is the same as the distance from the midpoint down to B or the midpoint up to C. So this altitude would be half the length of this side. So root, root 68 over 2. Now I can find the area of the two triangles to show that they are exactly the same area. So we'll start with the uh, ADB triangle first. And again, the area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. So the base of this triangle is the root 153. So placing that in place of the base. The height is the root 68 over 2. So in place of H, we put root 68 over 2. And the 2 in the denominator is this 2 in this denominator. And these twos will divide out. So after that happens, we're really just left with the root of 153 times the root of 68. And 153 times 68 
is 10,404. So the exact area of that triangle is the square root of 10,404. Now we could change that to a decimal, but I don't need to. Now we'll find the area of this triangle over here, the DCB triangle. And again, base times height divided by 2. The base is the root of 68. And the height of this triangle is root 153 over 2. So we put that in place of h. And again, the 2's divide out. And so notice we're multiplying the same numbers underneath the square root. Uh, 68 and 153, 68 and 153. So we still get the root of 10,404. So those two areas are exactly the same. And so a concluding statement, therefore the median cuts the triangle into two equal area triangles. And that's the end of the lesson.